worker strikes in Iran are spreading. They've been going on for months with employees from several industries protesting against inadequate wages. These strikes come at a time of spiralling inflation with complaints over deteriorating living conditions and a widening gap between household income and expenses. Reports suggest the industrial action is also spreading to other sectors beyond oil. Oil workers have been offered wage increases of around 25%. That's well below the 79% that they're calling for. Well, for more on this, let's speak to Nilafar Galami from DW's Farsi service. Thanks a lot for joining us. Can you explain to us exactly what the oil workers in Iran want? Yeah, the, the nationwide strike uh, started with uh, oil workers, but um, as the reports uh, continue to publish from inside the, in Iran, um, uh, we have a lot of um, um, reports that uh, the nationwide strike has been uh, spread among the other workers, and it's not just only limited to uh, oil workers, and uh, they have some uh, specific demands from the government. Uh, one of them, and the most important, I think, it's um, that, uh, that uh, the government uh, says that uh, in the new year, the uh, salaries will be uh, raised for 27 percent, but actually the workers asked for 80 percent because Indian government sources uh, declared about the uh, inflation, uh, the inflation rate right now in Iran for the last year, it was 60 to 70 percent. So they um, asked for um, raises in the salary and they uh, want more rights. I mean, um, uh, rights in the workplace, I mean, rights to strike and um, rights to have their own associations and their own organizations, which is now uh, somehow we can say government-backed organizations, uh, not real workers' organizations and real workers' association. Inflation is a big problem in so many parts of the world, but as you just indicated, in Iran, it, it really is you know, a different story in terms of how high it is. So how are people there coping with the inflation of that level? If I want to answer your question in one word, it's it's very hard. But uh, that's that's the reason that we see a lot of protests, that we see a lot of workers, a lot of retired uh, are um, taking to the streets and um, uh, see their demonstrations because the situation, the economical situation, actually uh, right now, um, I can say it's very bad and the inflation rate is so high. The normal salary of the workers, of the teachers, is way uh, below the poverty threshold. And that's why that we can see um, uh, people uh, really um, do a lot, actually uh, just try hard to bring food to their tables. And that's why we see that uh, Every day we see different protests in different cities of Iran um, for, uh, for different um, groups and workers, teachers, students. Uh, and yeah, but the situation right now, and especially after, after the uh, nationwide protests that we uh, have seen for the past months, it's, I can say it's getting worse and worse. Difficult times for Iranians. Well, Nilafar Ghalami from DW's Farsi service, thank you very much.